Welcome. In my last video, I talked about setting up WordPress on an AWS LightSail instance using Nginx. And in that video, we set up uh, SSL using Let's Encrypt. So we have the whole site now that's uh, SSL or TLS encrypted. We have the little lock here next to our domain. And what we want to do next is to test that um, SSL or TLS setup. And we can go to Qualys Labs. It's www.ssllabs.com. And when we go there, we can click test your server. And then you can put your server name down here. And then I'm gonna check this do not show results on the boards. I think this is off by default, you wanna check it. And then we'll hit submit. And I've already run this, so it came up very quickly. But you'll see we have an A rating here, which seems really good, but we can go for an A plus rating. So when you up the rating here, you're potentially dropping uh, older clients from being able to access your website. So if we scroll down here, we'll look at a couple of things. Um, this DNS CAA says yes here, but typically it will say no, but I already had this set up and I'll uh, talk about that in just a second. And if we scroll down here, we'll see we're supporting some of these older protocols, TLS 1.1 and TLS 1. And then we have these uh, Cypher suites here that are weak. We will probably not touch those. And then we have handshake simulation. So this shows older versions of um, like Android 4.2.2 is using TLS 1.0. So we'll turn off TLS 1.0 and then this will not work anymore. So um, like I said, it's a trade off. You may not want to do this stuff if you need to support really old clients. But if you're mostly supporting new clients, then um, it's not a bad idea to turn off the older protocols um, to secure your site. So we'll scroll down here a little more. And we have a session resumption caching is no. That's another thing we will um, tweak. And so the first thing we want to do is um, you have this, um, what they call CAA, which is a certificate authority authorization, I think it is. And you want to enter in a record in your DNS. So this is my Google DNS here. And I entered it as the type CAA and it has like a one hour refresh and I have 128 issue, uh, quote, let's encrypt.org quote. So what this does is this restricts other certificate authorities from issuing certificates for my domain. So um, this you know, helps from people trying to spoof things and such that they are not able to set up a certificate. So I already had this in place, so I won't cover on exactly how to do that, but you can figure that out. And also the reason I'm even making this video is to kind of give you an idea of how this works and then you can google things how to do things also like individual things if you have trouble with them because this could change later down the road you may have an a plus rating and then there may be some new vulnerability you need to patch and you'll need to run this every once in a while and update so um, you want to find the little red marks and then google those and find out how to um, fix them for whatever uh, web server you're using so this actually doesn't pertain to our web server this is actually on your dns server so i'll close that out and then let's get back to my notes here. So um, next you want to open up your nginx.comp file. So I'll copy this into my terminal. We'll enter there. And then I've got these lines here. I'll copy these. And I'll post these on, I'll put a link in the description to my website where I'll post these uh, lines here so you don't have to type them out. So I'll scroll down. And I'm going to look for this uh, SSL protocols. And I'll just put under here, I'll paste this in. I'll go up, I'll tab these over. So it looks nicer. And then I want to uncomment or comment out this first line. So this says we're using TLS uh, 1, 1 1.1, and 1.2. And then the second line says TLS 1.2. So this disables the older versions of TLS. And then we have the SSL session timeout is 10 minutes and the SSL session cache is shared colon SSL colon 10 minutes. So, and I'm not an expert on all these settings. Um, you can Google them if you want to know more about what they do. Um, and then here we have the ad header, strict transport security. We have max age and then we have 315360000. Semicolon includes subdomain, semicolon preload, quote, always semicolon. So, and this prefer ciphers was already here. So we want to type control O here to save and then control X to exit. And then we want to type sudo space system control 
or CTL space and then reload space engine X so I have an error here let's see what I've got so if you get an error when you're working with engine X you can type engine X dash T and actually you should run this ahead of time to uh, make sure you have a proper config file let's see I'm gonna run this as root it says unknown directive SSL session timeout. So let's look at that and then we can see it's line 36. Okay, I'll have this correct on the website. This is stupid of me. But I had the enginex.conf in my notes that it was the file it goes into and I had those at the beginning of these lines here. So I'll save that out and then I'll check the file again. Looks good. Now we'll reboot nginx. There. Okay. So sorry about that. But that's a good learning experience that you should run this uh, nginx-t, especially if it's a live site, run this ahead of time to make sure your config file is correct before you run it. So now we will hit clear cache here, and this will rerun the test, and this will take a while, so I'm gonna speed up the video. Okay, so the test is finished now, and we have the A plus rating here, and we'll scroll down through this, and we had the CAA was good before, and it still is. We'll scroll down, we'll see here now that we don't support these older versions of SSL and TLS. And then we have the cipher suites here. We didn't mess with these. You can um, restrict these cipher suites and um, you know use some, you know remove some of these older ones um, or the weak ones here if you want. But you can still get an A plus rating with these enabled. So I left them on. And now we can see the versions of um, you know, Android, Chrome, Firefox, uh, IE, Safari, Edge that are supported here um, with TLS 1.2. If we scroll down here, we should see this um, strict transport security is yes here. And it says HSTS preloading in Chrome, Edge, Firefox, and IE. I think that's pretty much everything on the rest of the page. So I would recommend coming back to the site on a regular basis every once in a while and rechecking it to make sure that your rating still works. And of course, if you have compatibility reasons, you may need to re-enable some things or tweak things. But um, another thing to do, if needless to say maybe, is go back to your website and give it a refresh and make sure it still works after you tweak the settings. Um, yeah, it seems kind of obvious. And we know the server was up and running because it didn't give us an error, but you never know, you don't want to get a phone call that the site's down because you're messing with it. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.